This is the LED brightness control circuit with ESP32 and uh, this is a running video that I am now demonstrating. This is the uh, ESP32 that I have put on my breadboard and I will show the circuit in a moment. But let me first of all show the demo part. First of all you will have to open this app and in this app I have given many circuits you will have to find the circuit with code N006 ESP32 brightness control may be the name changes over period but its code will remain the same click on this one and it is now searching for ESP32 on the Wi-Fi network but since I have not connected it it will say error search failed and now I will connect my ESP32 to the network so now you can see that my device is connected to the network and before you proceed you should be sure that this LED is blinking periodically if this LED is not blinking then it means that this circuit is not in a receiver mode it will automatically come in receiver mode when it connects to the Wi-Fi then it will be ready for accepting connections the code for doing that I will come to in a moment but let me right now open my app back and now let us make a search of the it will automatically search nothing has been done nothing is required it will do the listing searching and now it has searched and if you can see it is showing a slider control that can be manipulated to alter the brightness of this LED. You must be seeing that this is now slowly slowly being dragged to the right side and it is automatically connecting to the device. It is automatically detected and you can see that the brightness can be reduced to absolutely zero. Again you can see slowly slowly I am doing it because in the video the brightness is very difficult to detect but as you can see that this is growing to its maximum. I have given this circuit in this project in this application this application I'll add a link in your this uh, description to the video and now let me come to the explanation theoretical explanation of how this whole story is working I'll come to it step by step this is the circuit diagram which consists of an ESP32 W room device I will throw its link in the description below so that you can find how to get it where to get it uh, you can get it from anywhere in your market and this is a very common device and uh, this is the circuit diagram to GPIO 13 the base of the transistor and NPN any NPN transistor like BC547 which is commonly available or any switching transistor that you can find the base is connected the collector is to plus 5 volt we have used a common collector mode any resistance like 100 ohm and any LED connected to the ground this is the circuit that you were seeing just now and in fact you can see it from a close point this is the transistor the base goes to G13 GIO13 this is the resistance this is the LED and this is the only connection that you need in this case we can have a look at some of the features automatic detection of the ESP32 device last brightness is memorized by ESP32 this means that when it is switched on to power it will remember its last brightness slider controlled brightness as you, as you have seen just now and now I will come to the code part the code that I have put on my website link that I have added to the description you can click on that page and you can see the whole story on that page everything I have given and now let me explain a bit about the code that you have to upload the code has to be uploaded through Visual Studio IO uh, this uh, uh, Visual Studio code 
the details of doing it I have put in the page that you can refer so first of all in this we have this uh, you will have to enter your SSID and password of your Wi-Fi and uh, then these are a few event messages like Wi-Fi connected disconnected failed timer tick timer tick will actually blink that red LED then this is last value saved or set value these are internally used as you can see this is for storing into the device the last known configuration the last known uh, value and then this is a queue message function that uh, makes those uh, queues all the messages that we will be sending for action and this is the interrupt service for the uh, timer you can you will have to go through the documentation of ESP32 device also but in case you don't want to go through that you can simply copy and paste my code and make this one single change at the top that is change your own SSID and password no other change is required but I am explaining it so that you can have some idea this is the handler for the Wi-Fi events uh, station starts disconnected and then this is the main function in the main function we have the initialization of flash shutdown timer uh, shutdown routine and then we create this uh, Wi-Fi setup configuration of the Wi-Fi and uh, after this we also obtain the MAC address of the Wi-Fi although it is not required in this project it was required for some other project but I have kept the code in case it is required this is the timer which fires at one second as you can see and whenever it fires it will uh, send a tick to your this uh, interrupt service routine that I showed at the top then on pin 4 you can connect a LED that will blink I have used my system LED as you can see this is the system LED that I have used this LED is available on your uh, this device but I have used this one but you can use additionally GPIO 4 so GPIO 4 will be somewhere here on this side you can connect an LED I didn't connect it because I wanted to make the looks very uh, simple and after this after this this is the LED uh, pulse width modulation this is PWM setup we are still in the main function and this uses a certain configuration for 5 kilohertz is the like uh, frequency of the clock that we have used you will still have to go through the documentation if you want to understand this all then these are the messages when it says save last value then it is stored into the internal storage and here this is set value when you want to uh, read the value and here is the timer tick it will set on your GPIO 4 but here I have used this uh, just uh, the log so this log actually causes this red LED to uh, keep blinking and then and then we have further down further down this is the shutdown this is a TCP server which listens for requests from your mobile device the mobile app actually sends requests and on the basis of these requests the, uh, the ping received and all the detection will take place so this is the part if you want I can customize this application for you you can ask me I'll provide a customized application because this application is a part of uh, a app that I'm doing so it might not be suitable for your case but if you want I can do that so with this I'll close it right now thank you